You gonna run some benchmarks? Mm -hmm. steps in. That was the wrong building. So we just moved all the content to my Gen 4 drive. So at least it's a little faster to load every time it crashes. I have made it to the start of the benchmark. Run completed. Don't worry. I know my way around.
Oh, this game. So, 7.30 to 10.30, we have 1080p results, finally, for Gotham Knights. That game is frustrating to benchmark. As you saw, it just crashes if you look at it sideways. Why am I forcing myself to benchmark that game? Well, it's for Intel Arc and XESS, so it's one of the games that supports all the technologies, DLSS, FSR, and XESS. So now we have to get back on with the benchmarks, 1440p and 10 or er, and 4K. But we also have to do that with the RTX 3060 and 6600 XT. So benchmarking this game is probably going to take in the neighborhood if we say three three hours per resolution per card. So you're looking at nine times three, so 27 hours to benchmark the one game. I think I'm going to take a break and benchmark some games that actually work. <laughs> and you know, I, did, I knew this about the game before I started. My son got it for Christmas and I had to read Reddit posts to find out how to get around crashing sections. There's this one section he would got to where he was fighting guys on this floor in like a cryogenic chamber and it would crash non-stop. So the solution was to go up onto the catwalk and wait for the bad guys to follow him up and then he could beat the level. But that was the solution on Reddit. There was no, like the game just is awful. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, crash, crash, crash. Have fun out there, guys. Enjoy playing Gotham Knights if you can.